Filament fusion splicers use omega-shaped resistive filaments which apply uniform heating to glass fibers. Argon gas provides the controlled and inert environment which allows stable operation. In this video, we will demonstrate how to properly set up and connect an argon cylinder to the unit. You will need a razor blade, acetone, wipes, and an adjustable 10-inch wrench. Filament-based glass processors and fiber splicers use high-purity argon gas to purge the splice chamber of oxygen and contaminants during the fusion process. This is necessary to keep the fibers clean and to prevent the filament from oxidizing at the high fusion temperatures. The unit ships with a high-purity PTFE gas line and a gas regulator with an appropriate inlet adapter. Either zero-grade or research-grade argon gas should be used. Any other gas may damage the unit or shorten the lifetime of the filament. First, prepare a safe location to anchor the cylinder. Then, carefully move the cylinder into position and strap it to the anchor. Remove the cap covering the cylinder outlet and set it aside. If necessary, rotate the cylinder so that the attached regulator will be accessible to the user. Clean the cylinder outlet with an acetone-soaked wipe. This may take several wipes. Clean the inlet of the regulator the same way. Both must be cleaned to ensure good splice performance and filament life. Thread the regulator onto the cylinder such that the dials can be viewed easily. Use an adjustable 10-inch wrench to tighten the coupling. To attach the PTFE line, first cut the end with a razor to get a clean, flat end. Fully insert the end into the orange connector. Then pull back on the orange ring to engage the connector and pull back on the line to make sure it is locked in place. Fully open the output valve on the regulator. Then partially open the valve on the argon cylinder, quickly closing it again. Do this several times to flush the line. Cut the other end of the line to form a clean flat end and fully insert it into the orange connector labeled gas on the back of the unit. Then pull back on the orange ring to engage the connector and pull back on the line to make sure it is locked in place. Open the valve on the argon cylinder and power up the unit so that the background level of argon flows to the filament body. Open the argon flow rates tool from the configuration menu and set the flow rate to 2 liters per minute for 60 seconds. Execute the purge process and adjust the regulator so that the pressure is 9 to 12 psi during the purge. When the system is powered down and not in use, 
close the output valve and cylinder valve as well. 